Hello there, in this video I will be showing you guys um, another way to be making a um, a cursor. Animate, and this one will be animation. We'll be uh, doing animated. So, um, um, I'll probably make another video on how to install this software, but it's Real World Cursor Editor. It is a free software, um, and if you have a fast computer, it should only take um, a maximum of a few minutes to um, install. Um, and I'm running off of a, a, a four gigabyte or yeah, four gigabyte of memory. Anyway, so I'll just open it up right away. Here you go. And by the way, that program that was you, I previously showed you was a program that I made. That um, I will probably be making a video on how I made it soon. Um, anyway, so this is the home page that you'll start out with. You first um, do it. And you'll actually be seeing some of my cursors um, in this video, possibly for my loading cursors. I have animation ones that I made. One of them is smoking, and the other one is um, part um, parts of the gray pieces are missing and going in a circle. Anyway, um, so um, you if you want to make a new one, you can go here, create either create one from scratch or you can do one from here uh, by uploading an image so um, right now I'm just gonna go um, sorry about that um, so here I will be making a cursor I'll show you um, from a previously made program or uh, pictures that I downloaded off the internet I, I'm just gonna convert them as a picture so instead of going to cursor.cc the website you can use it through this program so you can double click on this, see that you saw the loading animation just briefly. And then I have a bunch of different um, strange cursors here. So um, I could I could choose some of these cutout ones, but I'm just going to show you how to cut one out real quick here. Um, let's just choose a random one. Um, I think I will do... Um, I'll see if this one will work. Hopefully the pixelization yeah okay um yeah the problem about it is that it, the pixelization is going to be pretty hard to do so anyway so you start out um we're gonna we're not going to be doing anything with layers for this um cursor um but um i'll show you a previous a previous or uh, another one that i made already and i'll add make it uh, shoot lasers i think that's all i'll do um it may have to be another episode Anyway, uh, moving on here, so um, I'll go to editing and then go to the pencil tool. These are the writing tools you can use. I prefer pencil. Um, brush is basically like uh, paint, I believe. Oh no, it's not. It's kind of like paint, but it doesn't have the pixelization. Um, like on paint, uh, not the spray can, and paint. So this is basically a, curs a, um, a paint program for cursors. So I'm going to go to pencil and I'm going to change this to one pixel. Which is the little small, uh, and then this one is uh, n nine three by three square uh, pixels, and then this one is um, uh, five by five square pixels. And then you know, there's different options. Interesting. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go with one pixel here. I'm gonna undo some of the stuff I did just to make sure I didn't erase what I wanted to keep so you can go like this as I showed you previously in the previous cursor video I have sticky keys on so um uh, let's see here so anyway that's what that's what's allowing me to keep my finger off the only flaw is if you mistake and you undo it you're gonna do the whole thing that's the only flaw I, I have with that Then there. Let's get remove these here. And then of course we can go um, size up a bit and uh, remove more pixels that way. It's a little bit faster. So anyway, so that's basically how you use the cut tool. Oh, I did not explain it at all. So um, of course this is the wheel on how to change the color. And then the triangle, this is kind of traditional. And then you want to go to black. If you want to go transparency, um, 
I guess white would work too. No, white does not work. As you can see, white does not work. Um, and it actually shows up as black on the cursor, which is kind of weird. But, uh, so you want to go all the way to the black, and then you want to go to transparency. Um, why is it doing that? There you go. Okay, so and then you want to go transparency, transparency all the way down to zero. So basically all of these are zero. If you want to manually change them. Okay, and then that's how you get transparent um, color. Then if you want to get the same color, you go to drop. And you can go, so we want black, and then we go back to the pencil tool. Then it paints it as black. Also, I found out that you hold control. Then you can click on this, and then it'll... So if you want to, instead of having to click on the dropper tool, you can just hold down control. And it'll work. Anyway, so, sorry, I just had to explain a lot. But anyway, there's your simple little cursor. Uh, let me change back to one pixel. Let me remove some of these here. Wish. Um, and then here, go to transformation. Basically, you select this. And you move this here. And then what you can do is you, you can use the paint, the purple thing to rotate it. Anyway, okay, and then to enlarge your thing, you just click and drag the blue item. And then, as you can see, if you click off, it's so fuzzy, super fuzzy. Um, yeah, that's the flaw about using a picture that's really small. Um, and I've, I'm told that GIMP, GIMP works, but I, I, and I saw it on a YouTube video, but I've yet to been able to run it yet. I'll have to look more into that. Um, and that allows you to cut pictures. Um, so as you can see, it kind of gives you a fuzzy, and this is exactly what it's going to show you. But anyway, that's how you, um, do that. For... Okay, and then I'm just going to reselect it. I'm just going to move it. So what you can do is you can do it like this to get your pointer to um, go straight to, straight to the to the click point. So this is basically where the, where your hotspot is on on most things. So basically at the hotspot of this cursor right here is at the top of the arrow. So and then you can change the hotspot. So the hotspot if I had that cursor right now, the hotspot would be like on that R in editor with the mouse right there. That's what the hotspot does. And, we'll, and um, so that's there. And then of course you go save. And then I created a separate library for cursors. Makes it easier. Um, I'll just go cursor one because I don't really know what this would be considered as. Um, cursor, I cannot spell this tonight. Anyway, so I'll just save it here. Okay, and then I'm gonna, this one's a new, opens up a new window, and create. I'm gonna open, go to open, and then I will open this main, or you know what, I will open game cursor, hmm, I'll do, I'll do red. And then, um, I'll show you a little bit with layers on how they work. Or you know what, let me see if I have a better cursor for this. Um, apparently I don't. So, anyway, some of these are, are flames. I have like blue flames on them. That's one of my loading signals and this is the other one that I have. It rotates around. Anyway, um, can't seem to find it. Okay, I'll make this Star Trek one shoot lasers. Okay, so first off here, um, what I'm going to do, just to make things simpler and easier for me, I'm just going to go to the move section, or no, transformation. It just allows me to select certain items here. So, um, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to just um, move. Move them there. I'm just going to move it right there. There you go. And then, of course, I need to move this back. Okay, so I'm going to make it shoot a torpedo. So, right here. So right where it is right there is where it's going to um, 
shoot the tor torpedo. And I'm going to make the torpedo red. So first off, I need to make another layer. So I'm going to create another la layer and then I just select on it. Make sure it's selected and then you can start typing and that will rename it. So I'm going to go, um, probably spelling this wrong, torpedo. Um, so, um, and then, uh, once you're selecting this layer, um, actually, I want the torpedo, oops, torpedo to be on the bottom. So, this layer here is going to be on top. This is the main cursor. Then the torpedo is going to be underneath. So, with the torpedo selected, you can go back to editing, go to the pencil tool, and I'm going to make my torpedo red. I'll go red. There you go, red. There, you know what? I'll just make it there. Red. Alright, and then, um, oh, there's a pre made version of this. Interesting. Okay, so I already made the torpedo, so I know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna make the torpedo look like this. Oops, um, one thing I forgot is, um, this button right here with the two pluses, plus signs, it will, uh, duplicate this um the one that's selected so it'll duplicate the um the slide that's selected so um i'm going to um create a torpedo so i'm just going to create it right here um put it right here like that boom there's my torpedo okay so as you can see when it's playing it flashes back and forth i'll stop it um I apologize for the video in the background. Oh! Arg. Okay, so I'm just gonna go select. I'm gonna. I keep on forgetting to change it to the right layer. So by having that selected, I go Control X for cut, and then I go to that torpedo layer, and then I'm gonna paste it here. So as you can see, it's invisible because it's underneath the underneath the cur main cursor. So, I'm going to leave it like that, and then I'm going to click Duplicate, well, it doesn't matter. Then I'm going to um, click Torpedo, I'm going to go Move, and then I move this, I'll move it to a uh, pixel back. And then I'm going to Duplicate, and then I move it pixel back again, Duplicate, oops, yes, Duplicate. And I'm gonna move it another. Oops. I'm gonna move it another pixel back. There we go. Okay, I guess I don't need to do that then. Ah, uh, delete. Okay, so as you can see, the torpedo is growing out of the thing. So I'm gonna make this show for five. Um, if you press this for thirty, it's gonna wait at like for thirty seconds. So if you play it. Uh, like half a second, I'm sorry, not 30 seconds, half a second. So 30 is half a second, so you can do the math from there. I just mess around with it till it looks good. So I'm going to go um, make this one 20. And then um, I'm going to duplicate it again. Make sure the torpedo layer is, is selected again. Then I'm going to move it. Um, I'm just going to go two pixels. Or no, I'm going to go three. Whoops, um, let's just delete that. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go three pixels, so it's one, whoops, uh, so you, one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. And I just continue, continued on, uh, three pixels all the way down. Um, I'm just saving time because I only have a minute left. Um, and then, uh, so, as you can see, there's a preview right here. Um, and it holds holds the torpedo for a second, and then it launches it. So that that would be my loading signal. So that's how you use layers. And then um, I previously showed you how to save it, so I'm just gonna save. And then um, make sure you select on animated cursor files, and you name it whatever you want. And then you save it, and then um, and then you can use that for your program. I already showed you previously in my previous video on how to do that. Um, anyway, uh, so you can click here for more videos or view that previous, uh, video. Sorry it took so long. Um, anyway, see you next time and please leave a comment.